Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and insights for Monday the 17th of June through until the 23rd of June 2024. As we move into this week ahead, we have Mercury and Venus moving into the sign of Cancer. Now, this is creating a beautiful energy. It is a soft, gentle, compassionate energy. Venus in Cancer becomes the nurturer. So it's a time of nurturing, nurturing yourself, nurturing your relationships, nurturing your home environment. And Mercury in Cancer becomes the muse, the poet. It is a time to allow yourself to tune into the internal voice of spirit of your soul that is wanting to express itself through you and when you tune into the sacred higher heart wisdom this is where the voice the true voice of your soul can be expressed through your words, through your emotions, through your actions. And you can use this beautiful, gentle, compassionate energy to bring a softening of grace into your day. We also are celebrating the solstice this week and here in the Southern Hemisphere, the winter solstice on the 21st of June. And this is where in the Southern Hemisphere we are experiencing the shortest day of the year and the longest night. So this is a time of inward reflecting, a time to go within. And these are messages that are coming through regularly right the answers that we seek are already within the peace that we seek is by obtained and created and experienced by going within it's a time to Detach yourself from the external stimuli of the world around you. So social media, TV, whatever it may be. And create some sacred space. Now creating sacred space is as simple as setting the intention, inviting in the presence of the divine, lighting a candle, perhaps putting on your favorite essential oils, placing around a few crystals. You might like to cleanse that space with sage. You can ask Archangel Michael to remove all negative and non-serving energies. And take some time to go within, focus on the breath, place your attention on your sacred heart space, and ask yourself, what is it that I truly desire? What is it that I am wanting to create for myself in this lifetime? What are the gifts and the strengths of my soul that I have brought into this lifetime with me and how can I activate them within myself? How can I be of service to myself and others? And as this winter solstice is occurring the day before or the evening before the full moon in Capricorn, it's also a powerful time of releasing. So what is it that is blocking you from moving forward in your life? What are you holding on to that does not serve you? And if you are holding on to something from your past, ask yourself, how is this serving me? Because once you obtain that information of how it, is, how it is serving you, you can release it and let it go. 
the Capricorn full moon is asking us to get brutally honest with ourselves brutally honest with yourself what is it that is not serving you are your actions in alignment with your intentions so are your actions your thoughts your words your deeds are they in alignment with your intentions your intentions are what are you wanting to create what are your dreams what are your goals the Capricorn full moon is asking us quite intentionally to take full responsibility of our own lives. You are the master of your life. You are the navigator of your life. You are the producer of your life. You are the script writer of your life. So this is an opportunity for you to reflect and view and take stock of your life and ask yourself, what's not working for me? Why isn't it working for me? And what do I need to do to create and shift, create a change and shift your perspective? The solstice is a powerful day because what is occurring within the planet is a shifting of the energy grids so the vibration of mother earth is raising into higher frequencies coming into alignment coming into greater harmony and so you can tune into the frequency during the solstice to set your your intentions and to tap into the healing frequency of mother earth So these two events that are occurring this week can work coincide alongside with each other. Taking responsibility for your actions, taking responsibility for your life, taking responsibility for yourself requires courage. It requires resilience. It requires radical self-acceptance. This full moon is asking you to accept all parts of yourself, to accept your role, whatever that may be in events, your life, your current situation. And it's from taking that full responsibility, from sitting in that place of acceptance. Okay, this is what is. Doesn't matter how I got to here. There's no one to blame. There's, there's nothing, you know, there's no finger pointing. This is what, where I am right now. I accept my part in this situation. And then ask yourself, what action can I take to create positive change in my life right now? And then allow your inner wisdom your inner intuition, your inner guidance to reveal to you. That may come to you in feelings, it may come to you in words, it may come to you in ideas or images. However your psychic attunement is, and we all have access, we're all psychic, we're all intuitive. It's a skill that we can develop and fine tune simply by listening, being curious and taking notice. Additional information on the energy of the week ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, two cards. Serious star blessing. Yes, proceed, be seen, push through, and the Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. Venusian. Sirius and Venusian. So we have, in this week ahead with the energies, we have some beautiful beings of light. Galactic Light Council, Council, Syrians. To support you, shining a light, 
downloading for you and activating within you the frequencies, the light codes that are laying dormant within your cell cellular structures. The reminder that you are a star being, you are a galactic star being, having a physical human experience. There is so much more to you. There is so much more that you have access to. There is so much more to be awakened and ignited within you. You are not alone. You are surrounded in the unconditional light of the creator of all that is, universal source consciousness. Your ancestors, your angelic friends, your guides and guardians all walk this path with you. And when you go within, recharge, nurture, take care of yourself, accept yourself, love yourself, then you are putting yourself in a position to hear, sense, feel and hear more clearly, see more clearly the inspiration and the guidance of your soul and the universe. I hope that these messages serve you well. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself and others. Big love to you all. Namaste. Blessed be.